hey, instead of Japan knows what they're getting out of Cybernetic Horizon, let's take a look. Okay, so Celestial Sextant, yeah, Veer, and, oh no. They didn't put the Power of Unsearcher in. He is not gonna be happy when he gets home. Hey. Hey, I gotta tell you something. One second. Okay, what's up? So, um, Japan knows what they're getting out of Cybernetic Horizon. And that's a bad thing? Um, there's no power bond searcher. I don't think I heard you right. I said there's not gonna be any Cosmos War. <laughs> oh no, that really sucks. I was going um, for you too. I gotta get back to work though, man. And now he's gonna check for himself. What the fuck? <laughs> In today's video, I'm gonna learn you a thing or two about cyber dragons. <laughs> or just talk about things that I want. You know what? Let's do that one. For real though, guys, today we're gonna be talking about the very long fabled, maybe a lot of that is because of me, but the long fabled power bond searcher, okay? I'm gonna be talking about this, you know, um, theoretical power bond searcher, and I'm gonna be talking about why it actually wouldn't be that broken at all, even with the new supports and, and all that stuff. But before I get into the main topic, and before I get into opening up some fan mail, uh, I have to give a huge shout out to all my patrons. Thank you guys all so much, and thank you guys all so much for sticking around, you know, when I had to be gone and all that stuff. Thank you guys. Um, all of you guys, not just my patrons, but thank you guys all so much for understanding that sometimes I have to be gone. It really does mean the world to me, and it just goes to further prove that I had the best fans on the planet. I'm sorry, other YouTubers, I'm, I feel so sorry for them. I mean, girls don't watch their channels, and I have better fans. Oh my gosh. I don't know how other YouTubers do it, guys. I, I, I just don't know. And our other shout-out, of course, is to our sponsor, MetaMats.com, made by us, designed by you. If you guys want 10% off of any map from MetaMats.com, then enter in the code Eugene versus Jesus, and you will get 10 percent off of any map that you want. But now guys with the shout outs out of the way let's go ahead and move in front of the card wall talk about this uh, theoretical card and then let's open up some fan mail. So guys as you all know I love Cyber Dragons they're probably my favorite deck of all time in Yu-Gi-Oh and I've been playing them for a long time. I know that's all that's all like like news right. And as you guys also know we have Cybernetic Horizon which is the set that we're getting after Flames of Destruction and uh, why that's a big deal and why that directly relates to Cyber Dragons if the name is Cybernetic and the name of the set didn't already give it away um, we're also getting a lot of uh, Cyber Dragon supports in that set and so that immediately obviously you know sparked my interest I was like what Cyber Dragon support are we going to be getting out of this and we got some of the stuff that I kind of talked about and wanted I mean not really I mean we, we got a special summonable Cyber Dragon in the form of V which is something that I've talked about in the past that, that I've wanted for the deck and we, and we got that and stuff and we got some really good Cyber Dragon supports um, that we've gotten linked out of Cybernetic Horizon, don't get me wrong, but we have not yet gotten a Power Bond Searcher. And why that is a big deal is because if you look at Cybernetic Horizon, and this is all stuff that I've joked about in the past guys, but right now I want to provide actual valid reasons why a Power Bond Searcher is needed, why it, it wouldn't be broken, and, and etc. Okay? Um, so I'm going to start with the Cyber Dragon structure deck, the cybernetic revolution or cyber revolution structure, whatever it's called. Um, starting with that, what that deck was missing was the power bond searcher. Because if you look at when that structure deck came out, I mean, you would see like, you know, cyber dragon top 32s, um, you know, at regionals and stuff. It didn't really make a big splash. It was just a really fun rogue deck to play because cyber dragons are loved from the show from GX, you know, Zane Truesdale played cyber dragons in the show. So that's a really loved deck and people like cyber dragons. Cyber dragons a freaking cool card. And go, you know, power bond OTK is a fun OTK to pull off. People love that stuff. So because of that, they came out with the structure deck, and we love the structure deck too. Nova was a great card. I mean, then later we got Infinity to get on top of Nova. So it's not like Konami hasn't uh, given us really good support after the structure deck. It's that that structure deck itself was missing that key piece. And the reason why it was missing that key piece is if you look around at the format at the time, um, people were still playing like hard card D and stuff. If that gives you any sort of hint as to how much slower the game was at that point in time. So in other words, since people were still playing Card Card D and the game was just in a slower state, what Cyber Dragons were missing was something to make them fast. I mean, they had Power Bond, they had the Power Bond OTK that could hit you out of nowhere and they got new Cyber Dragon monsters, but like, they didn't have a consistent way to get to Power Bond, except for playing, you know, Reckless Greed, Upstarts, and maybe even Card Card D yourself. I mean, that was, that's how you got to Power Bond. It just, it just kind of sucked. So in other words, 
afterwards, when the Cyber Revolution structure deck came out, Nova and Rank 5 strategies in general, I mean, the, the deck worked. The, the deck was a functional Rank 5 deck. And keep in mind, this was also before Galaxy Soldier came out. So it was a functional Rank 5 deck, but it wasn't really a good Rank 5 deck either, because once again, no Galaxy Soldier. I mean, Chronomaly Golden Jet was a card, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure it was a card, but I hadn't discovered it, and other players hadn't discovered it either. So uh, let's put it this way, no one was playing it. But another reason why no one was playing it is because we got Cyber Dragon Dry in the structure deck, so that was, you know, a better, at the time anyways, a better um, golden jet because you really only wanted to summon machines at that point in time. That's really all you went for because, once again, this is the time period right when the structure deck came out. What I'm getting at here is that if you look at the format around at the time and you look at just the structure deck itself, the thing that it was missing was the power bomb searcher. The thing that was holding it back was the power bomb searcher. What held Cyber Dragons back from being a tier one, like, really good contender was the power bomb searcher and by power bomb searcher what i'm specifically referring to and what i've talked about in the past is that this power bomb searcher this theoretical card needs to be something and it should have been something released in the structure deck that you could search off of cyber dragon core in other words a cyber spell or trap card that could search out power bond in other words you normal summon cyber dragon core you can search out your search card that gets you to a power bond so in other words between drawing power bond drawing core or drawing that search card you consistently get Get to power bond and you guys are gonna be like wow that's nine power bonds and you already have like freaking nine good cyber dragons and stuff that's broken that's way broken and it would have been broken at that time don't get me wrong and that's why it wasn't out at that time that would have made the deck way too good I'm pretty sure the deck would have been like it would have been hit or something like the deck would have been way too good or at least or at the very least it would have changed our our format dramatically uh, more people would be playing like battle traps and such because uh, no one would want to just automatically lose to power bond but once again though guys I'm talking about a period in Yu-Gi-Oh history where people were still seriously main decking three card card D and stuff to get to cards that is how much slower the game was these days that stuff doesn't happen no one you know card card D's and passes unless you're playing side frames and that's it you know what I mean like that's it no one card card D's and passes so in other words we're in a completely different time now um the boards that are being set up on turn ones by like rogue decks in any decks these days like just any deck these days can can just just vomit out a huge board, DDDs, uh, pendulums, I mean, just, just pick it, okay? Uh, dinos, like whatever deck you want to play just about these days can vomit out a huge board. It's not like you're reliant on drawing Mirror Force so you don't automatically lose or something like that. No, no, you're not uh, hoping to draw anything. No, you, you, these days, like, Yu-Gi-Oh! has gotten so fast, your hands are almost always playable, guys. And uh, because your hands are, are almost always playable and because of just the combo-liciousness of today's Yu-Gi-Oh!, you're able to make, like, these huge boards. So, you don't card card D and pass. So, um, in other words, if you even if you do get power bond off, even if you do get your two cyber dragon names and your power bond in hand to uh, perform your OTK, um, I mean, you still have to. Even if you make rampage, you know, not even twin. Even if you make rampage, you get three attacks of forty two hundred with the boards that are being vomited out these days with vortex dragon, tornado dragon, everything, just etc. Okay, insert your board here. It's a lot harder and more impractical to um, power bond OTK to pull that off. It's way more impractical practical these days. It's harder to pull off. Um, and also, you're committing. And I'm not even talking about, like, I'll get to the new support here in a second, but right now, when you commit to that Power Bond OTK, you are dumping freaking three cards. You're using Power Bond and two Cyber Dragons to get out Rampage. And the only, like, floating or, like, plus you get out of that is either what you send off of Rampage, which is really only Electromagnetic Turtle, which isn't a plus, it's just a save your ass card. Or, you know, if, you're, if your Rampage uh, dies and you sense, uh, you know, Cyber Dragon Core, for example, you get to banish Core and summon another Cyber, cyber Dragon, like, but big deal! Like, that is so bad. You commit so many resources to Power Bond, and if it gets stopped, if your win condition gets stopped, you're screwed. That's game over. So therefore, um, playing Power Bond, even if we had a search card, just playing it would be impractical because you're playing a win condition that if you don't pull off, you instantly lose. It's not like, you know, your deck is really good, it bounces off each other and has more depth to where you're able to play through things. No, you overcommit, and, and that you just bust a nut, and that's it. Like, I mean, that, that, that literally is it. So in 
other words, guys, the, the Power Bond OTK, I don't know how else I can explain this, but the Power Bond OTK is just definitely not as practical to use in today's uh, competitive metagame as it used to be. It's just not nearly as practical. And now moving on to the new cards. You guys would be like, okay, well, now let's include the new cards in on this. You just said that you couldn't, you know, get any resources back or anything um, off of Power Bond, uh, but what about Hertz that's coming out? And you are right, like, so you get Hertz. Let's just say you have Power Bond and you have uh, Cyber Dragon in hand and Hertz in hand, okay? And you make Rampage, sweet. And you go into Rampa Rampage or whatever. Um, that Hertz is gonna get you a search for Cyber Dragon out of your deck. Or if you use Core and, um, or if you use Core and uh, Cyber Dragon Hertz from your hand to make um, Rampage, you can use that Hertz to bounce your Core from your graveyard back to your hand. But that's the best scenario. And, uh, and I've explained this before, why having that Core in your hand for next turn is really good in Cyber Dragons is because Core gets you to, um, you know, uh, Cyber Repair Plants, Repair Plants gets you to Jizakiru, Jizakiru gets over anything your opponent puts out, and then that makes uh, Chimera Tech. So, um, as I've explained a million times to Cyber Dragons, ending with the Core in hand is really, really good because Core is like a one card comeback. It's it's just amazing. It's like, it's literally the best card in the deck. But even then, even with Hertz, okay, I'm spending Hertz and I'm spending like Cyber Dragon or Core or whatever and, and Power Bond for a Rampage that could die. I mean, that effect, when, when Rampage comes out and I activate its effect, it could get it could get solemn strike. It could just I mean it could just die. I'm, I'm blowing my load on just like so on just one monster on one win condition. So like even even with newer cards out there, even with the new Cyber Dragon supports, and even with new cards like you know Hey True Nade for example, which you know is really good on paper is really really good for an OTK deck. No one's playing spells and traps really except for True Draco and stuff. And I can guarantee if Cyber Dragon even even if the Power Bond OTK even if this Power Bond Searcher was to come out, okay, and even if if it was broken for a week or two, you don't think that every other deck that is just built better than Cyber Dragons, Dragons isn't just gonna change their card choices up a little bit and smack the deck around? I'm being real right now, okay? I love Cyber Dragons. I absolutely love the deck. But in my opinion, it is way too linear in today's game to really bounce back. I mean, you like in, in, in a fusion, from a fusion standpoint, I should say. The rank five standpoint is different. Uh, but from a fusion standpoint, if you were just speaking from a power bond OTK standpoint, it's not practical. It's it's not a practical thing. And so, therefore, I feel like, and I thought that everyone was kind of on this same page, like, um, it's not very good, we can get a power bomb searcher, but apparently not everyone is on that same page. And you could make the argument that it would still uh, steal games and stuff, and yes, it would steal games, but freaking Masterpiece steals games. I mean, guys, I mean, I mean like, Vortex Dragon steals games. Uh, I mean, guys, look at, look at your metagame. I mean, look at Evenly Matched. Look at, like, you know, any card, like, there are so many cards that steal games. Monster Reborn. We have Monster Reborn legal right now. It steals games. And, and people are complaining about Power Bond stealing games even with a search card. Who cares? Like, it's so impractical these days. And like I said, like, just the recoverability of Cyber Dragons is, is null. Having Core in your grave or having it in your hand, like, that's that's your recoverability. Like, or if you top deck, like, Overload Fusion or something, that's that, that's like, that, that's it. That's your recoverability with the deck, you know what I mean? So, um, that, that that all being said, I just really feel like even with a search card for Power Bond, Power Bond is just not that good. Yes, it doubles the attack of the monster that you summon out with it. Yes, Rampage Dragon's a good card. They can attack three freaking times. But what's sad though, guys, is even like all that, like on paper, you're like, wow, that is insane. In modern Yu-Gi-Oh, it's not that good. Like, it's it's just not. Yes, you can steal games with it, but it's just not practical in today's game because every deck out there is more combolicious than you, can build bigger boards than you, and you have to fight through it. Like, even if you go second, guys, you're like Cyber Dragon's best shot. I'm gonna be I'm just gonna be blunt right now. Cyber Dragon's best shot these days is literally through Chimera Tech and stuff. Going into like Mega Fleet and just good old Chimera Tech, which is a Kiru, is way better in the deck. Like way better than power bond like it's to the point to where it's like even if we got a power bond searcher like looking at the deck and looking at how much better the rank five build of cyber dragons debatably is and stuff it's like do you even want to play the power bond searcher like you do like you want to play the power bond searcher like this theoretical power bond searcher and the power bond just because you steal games but like in in, in reality and practicality like like in a tournament and like a ycs or a regional if you really wanted to top that event whatever event you go to with cyber dragons your best bet might not be with the Power Bond OTK. I think it might be more practical to go with a different build, a rank five build, or just another fusion build, or just something that doesn't just blow your load on a win condition.
condition that is also your losing condition. And I don't know how else I can word that, guys, except for I'm just going to make my last case here for the Power Bond Searcher before we get into the fan mail. Uh, my last case for the Power Bond Searcher is something that I've joked about before, but being real, okay? Um, other decks do play Power Bond, okay? Like Ancient Gears, they can't play Power Bond. But no kid growing up wants to be Crowler. Everyone wants to be a badass like Zan Truesdale, and that's just what it comes down to. Do you want to be Crowler or do you want to be Zan Truesdale? And I think the answer is obvious. The answer is me. Everyone wants to be me. No, I'm just, I'm just kidding, guys. I'm just kidding. But for real though, everyone wants to be uh, Zan Truesdale, and I don't know how else to, you know, uh, justify a power bond searcher. I feel like at this point, even if we don't get a power bond searcher, I think it's it's just been really fun to try to get them to come out with one because. You you know, this is a huge set for me. You know, Cybernetic Horizon is a huge set for me because I love Cyber Dragon so much, and it's going to be a big set for everybody, not just for me. But, um, you know, I feel like for me, though, like, I'm not, I'm not trying to make this about me, you know what I mean? But um, I, I really do uh, feel like, uh, for me anyways, this set just has a lot of extra meaning to me, and I think that's why I'm trying so hard to push this and try to get Konami to make a Power Bomb Searcher because I think it would be a lot of fun. I think a high Cyber Dragon format would be a lot of fun because of the Chimera Tech shenanigans and stuff that would go back and forth to be just an absolutely insane format um, with me being of course the best player because I've been playing Cyber Dragons the longest uh, that's that's actually the motivation ah shit so those are all my cases except for you know just uh, only Zane played Power Bond and like his brother you know only played Power Bond on the show so like it makes sense for uh, for only Cyber Dragons to get the searcher and for it to become a, a Cyber Dragon card and that's another point that I've made but that kind of goes hand in hand with kids wanting to be Zane Truesdale so I'm just going to count that all as one point but anyways guys I think that you guys um, all know where I'm coming from I'm pretty sure you guys all understand that I'm joking around but at the same time like I'm not joking around and I'm kind of serious but I'm joking but I'm serious. <laughs> I don't know how to explain this all, man. I just wanted to make this video and just to, to provide some solid cases, not, you know, the, the cases that I've been providing, but more in a serious manner instead of a joking manner. And to kind of get you guys to see that a Power Bomb Searcher wouldn't be all that busted. It wouldn't be as good as I would like it to be, and it wouldn't be as good as you would like it to be either. Or maybe you wouldn't want it to be good. It just, it just depends on who you are. I don't know, guys. But that is everything that I wanted to cover in this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, go ahead and let me know uh, what you think about this supposed uh, power, or this uh, you know, power bond searcher card, whatever, down in the comment section. Um, and until next time, let's go ahead and get into some fan mail. All right, this one doesn't have a name on it, but it's addressed to me. But the man, the myth, the legend. What does this say? Oh my gosh, you guys are crazy. We have some cards, the return envelope. Oh my gosh. So there's the return envelope, and let's see what what this says. So dear Yugi No No, I've been watching your channel for a while. And I love the content uh, really makes the time fly better <laughs> when avoiding work today I have sent a few cards to sign and keep I sent you a card that uh, deserves to be sacrificed to the great and eight <laughs> great and powerful Yuki gods Please use this and start for uh, start uh, for a cleansing of all the FTKs a uh, white equals keep a uh, blue equals sign and return from Vinnie brands Well, thank you very very much. Thank you so much for the cards. Um, I'll absolutely sign cards in this in the back Thank you so much much for writing uh, but uh, this one is signs these are the ones I'm signing uh, magicians Valkyria dark magician hey uh, cyber dragon infinity rainbow neos baby dragon and time wizard freaking sweet dude thank you so much I'll definitely sign these and get them right back your way um, what, 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 what are these though what is what, what, what is this um, uh, fuck up TKs what oh my gosh you sent me a Lyra let's get to bed at nightingale dude thank you so much for sending thank you so much for writing and stuff I'll be sure to sign these to get them right back your way. Thank you so much again. Let's go.